Recent work from two teams of scientists, each of which included Carnegie's Greg Asner, looks at impacts of large herbivores on vegetation. Elephants in South Africa's Kruger National Park appear in the journal Ecography. The Pleistocene extinctions of large mammals appear in publications of the National Academy of Sciences. Asner's team examined the effect elephants have on the woody plants in Kruger National Park, the largest protected area in South Africa, and showed that elephants are one of the leading causes of fallen trees. Protected areas play a crucial role in sheltering wildlife from hunting and habitat destruction. The African elephant is emblematic of the challenges facing conservationists. Once wide-ranging, populations have been reduced by poaching and habitat degradation. In a safe area, their numbers can grow quickly. Over the past 20 years, the Kruger elephant population has nearly doubled. The conservationists need to promote a sustainable system for managing elephant populations and the vegetation. Between 2008 and 2014, Asner and his team used the Carnegie Airborne Observatory to survey more than 10.4 million woody plants across 19 Kruger landscapes. The team ranked different factors that caused trees to fall. They used airplane-mounted reflected laser light to image the vegetation in 3D. They found a mean tree fall rate of 12% of trees per hectare every other year, which is very high in savanna ecological predictions. They also uncovered a major factor, the density of the landscape's elephant population. Fire frequency, for instance, was only half as important as elephants. Asner explains that Kruger has, in recent years, been undergoing changes in the size and distribution of its woody plants. This research suggests that these changes are largely driven by elephants. These results will aid Kruger in managing the way the elephant population is shaping the park's vegetation. In a separate paper, Asner and a different team explored the links between the way Pleistocene extinctions affected vegetation and the current threats to large herbivores. This knowledge helps better understanding of how the extinction of large mammals, such as mammoths, ground sloths, and diprotodons, affected the period's ecology and shifted its landscapes at the end of the Pleistocene epoch.